In this video, let us talk about body movements and let's learn different types of movement and locomotion. Motion in Earthworm The body of an earthworm is made up of many rings joined end to end. An earthworm does not have bones. It has muscles which help to extend and shorten the body. During movement, the earthworm first extends the front part of the body, keeping the rear portion fixed to the ground. Then it fixes the front end and releases the rear end. It then shortens the body and pulls the rear end forward. This makes a small move. Its body secretes a slimy substance to help the movement. Structures that support movement in earthworm are ring-like segments and hair-like bristles called seta. The earthworm actually eats its way through the soil. Its body then throws away the undigested part of the material that it eats. This activity of an earthworm makes the soil more useful for plants. So, earthworms are known as farmer's best friends. Movement in snails The shell is the outer skeleton of the snail, but it is not made up of bones. The shell is a single unit and does not help in moving from place to place. It has dragged along. The thick structure is its foot, made of strong muscles. The wavy motion of the foot can be seen. Structures that support movement in snails are foot for locomotion and foot that secretes mucus. Movement in cockroaches Cockroaches walk and climb as well as fly in the air. They have three pairs of legs. These help in walking. The body is covered with hard outer skeleton. This outer skeleton is made of number of plates joined together that permits movement. There are two pairs of wings attached to the body behind head. The cockroaches have distinct muscles. Those near the legs move legs for walking. The body muscles move the wings when the cockroach flies. Movement in cockroach happens with three pairs of legs and sets of distinct muscles which help the legs to move. Movement in fish The head and tail of the fish are smaller than the middle portion of the body. The body tapers at both ends. This body shape is called as streamlined. The shape is such that water can flow around it easily and allow the fish to move in water. The skeleton of the fish is covered with strong muscles. During swimming, the front part of the body curve to one end and tail part curve to the other end. The fish forms a curve, then quickly the body and tail curve to the other side. This makes a jerk and pushes the body forward. This helped by the fins of the tail. Other fins keep the balance of the body and to keep direction while swimming. Structures that support movement in fishes are streamlined shape of the body, swim bladder and fins. Movement in birds. Birds fly in the air and walk on the ground. Some birds like ducks and swans also swim in water. These birds can fly because their bodies are well suited for flying. Their bones are hollow and light. The bones of the hind limbs are for walking and perching. The bony part of the forelimbs are modified as wings. The shoulder bones are strong. The breast bones are modified to hold muscles of flight which are used to move the wings up and down. Downstroke Birds first moves its wings down and forward. It is to lift the body in air. Upstroke The bird lifts the wings upward to prepare for another downstroke and continues. Motion in birds is supported by its streamlined body, hollow bone, 
four limbs modified into wings and wings covered with feathers movement in snakes snakes have a long backbone and have many thin muscles they are connected to each other even though they are far from one another muscles also interconnect the backbone ribs and skin the snake's body curves into many loops each loop of the snake gives it a forward push by pressing against the ground the snake moves forward very fast and not in a straight line movement in snakes happens as it crawls on its body curves the body into many loops and loops helps the body to move faster movement in plants plants remain in fixed position but they show slow motion in their parts in the direction of stimulus for example a sunflower moves itself in the direction of sun when a bud opens into a flower its petals move outwards these movements of parts of plants in response to light towards the light or away from the light are called as phototropism let us look at phototropism in different plants phototropism effect in beans phototropism effect in mint herb phototropism effect in cucumber seedlings phototropism effect in carrot seedlings phototropism effect in rose oreganosa phototropism effect in fern phototropism effect in dandelion phototropism effect in onion
plants that respond to stimuli. Sensitive plant, Mimosa podica respond to stimuli. It is also called as, touch me not plant. Now, let us move to our favorite session, question time. Question 1. The internal skeleton of a fish can be made up of bones and dash or both. Options are Option A. Muzzle Option B. Cartilage Option C. Setae Question 2. Which of the following protects a snail from heat and enemies? Option 1. Cirque Option 2. Shell and Option 3. Mucus Question 3. In earthworm, Option A has liquid skeleton, Option B has exoskeleton, Option C does not have skeleton. Write down your answers in the comment section given below. And you can be the lucky winner to be featured at the end of our videos. And here are the lucky winners of our previous episodes. If you like our videos, subscribe to our channel and like, comment or share this video with your friends. For more video links, check the description box below. And don't forget to visit our website slnacademy.com.